Hello and in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the game gem tools you can use. So here are three large tools to generate bigger worlds. We have here a generator from a PSD file. So basically you can draw a in a PSD file a layout and it will then automatically convert it here to the city with also props scattered around. Here is an example of a PSD file. So we just have different layers, which each layer contains information that will then be used in the tool. Further here, we have a level generator based on wave function collapse. So here you see an example of a level that has been generated. This also used a tile set. So you're going to have to build a tile set to get the full advantage of this. And you can also here with cubes override actually where you would like to have specific rooms. So moving this cube now around will update the level, as you can see here. So you can define specific rooms that needs to be bigger. And then we have just randomly generated smaller ones. Then further here, we have a platform tool. So this will create these platforms based on cubes, simple shapes, and curves. So by default here, you will have a small area that you could draw by a curve, but you can also just input a basic shape like a cube, and you can generate around this cube a platform. So you can quickly place around cubes and then the level will be generated. Another tool here is the placement tool. So here is an example of a curve and based on this curve, a model is being copied on them. So in here I have this pillar, which is also generated with another tool. And then we can quickly place it around with this placement tool. This placement tool can also scatter on objects. So I can click on a certain grid and it will then also scatter props on the grid. Next up here is a pipe and cable tool. So this is also based on the line. So I can here grab the line and then draw the pipe. So you can quickly add pipes around the level. We also have different styles. So we have the basic pipe is what you see. We also have a smooth pipe and we also support cables. Then further here, we have the modular wall tool. So this will create walls like this. We can have different styles here as well. And though here in the wall, we have different styles like the stone, wood and our default style. And then we can add doors and windows as much as you want. Then next up is the quick tree. So here is an example of a tree that is generated by this tool. So this tool is also controlled by a line. So I can draw this line and reel, and then the tree will grow around this. You can have further control more about the poly count, the style of this, and also the colors that you see. Then here I have the edge damage tool. So this is a tool that can generate from a block at shape a more final the edge damaged look so here on the right side i have a pretty simple blockout shape so this is just default cubes from unreal and then the tool will then convert this into one nice result so if i zoom in here on the edge you can see that we have some here damage going on also the this geometry now is one big geometry so it will boolean this result together so this is really useful to make different results like the pillar you saw before was also made with this tool. Next up is the foliage tool. So this tool will generate foliage like you could see here. So we can have some grass, ferns, and ivy scattered on the prop. So the tool will work in two steps. We're going to first create a leaf. So we can create a grass, grass leaf or a fern leaf. And then we're going to use that leaf to then actually generate a certain plant or ivy. So here in this case, I generate some grass. Here is a fern example. And also here is an example of ivy on the model. This model comes also from the edge damage tool that I just showed you. So we can just use different tools and combine them. Also here, this sphere here is actually the starting point. So whenever I move this, it will actually use this as the starting area. So as you can see, we can just move this around and define the area where the ivy should grow. Then the last tool is the rock tool. And as you can already see, we have actually some boxes here, which are deciding where the rock should go. So we can make a level with placing boxes around and around these boxes, these rocks will then be scattered. Also here, a cool thing you can do here as well is you can actually scatter smaller rocks on the end here. So it is nicely integrated with the terrain. So what I can do now is just grab this box again and I can, for example, lower this or put this higher. And as you can see, these rocks will be still scattered around. That was it for the overview. So feel free to use these tools in the game jam. 
and to explore them even more afterwards. So thank you for watching.